Welcome to County Office, your ultimate guide to local government services and public records. Let's get started. Are there scams with Zelle? Zelle, a popular peer-to-peer -peer payment service, allows users to send money quickly and easily. However, this convenience also attracts scammers who exploit the platform's features to defraud users. Common scam tactics. One, fake sellers. Scammers pose as sellers in online marketplaces, offering attractive deals or products. They request payment through Zelle and often disappear after receiving the money, leaving the buyer with no item. Two, account takeover scams. Scammers gain unauthorized access to a victim's account, often through phishing attempts, and transfer funds to their own accounts. This can lead to identity theft and other complications. Three, customer service scams. Scammers impersonate customer service representatives, manipulating victims into sending money or revealing sensitive account information. Four, urgency and emotional manipulation. Scammers create a sense of urgency or use emotional stories to convince victims to send money quickly. For example, they might claim a friend or relative is in financial trouble or that a prize must be claimed immediately. Red flags to watch for. Forced urgency. Be cautious if someone insists you act immediately and refuses to answer questions. Incorrect spelling or grammar. Legitimate messages usually do not contain spelling or grammar errors. Suspicious messages. Be wary of messages asking you to send money to someone you don't know or to upgrade your Zelle account. Fake payment confirmations. Scammers may send fake payment confirmations to trick sellers into shipping items without receiving actual payment. How to protect yourself. Verify requests. Always confirm cash requests by contacting the person through a known phone number. Keep your phone secure. Keep your phone locked when not in use to prevent unauthorized access to your Zelle app. Avoid unnecessary payments. Never send money to someone you've never met in person. Report suspicious activity. If you suspect a scam, report it to your financial institution and the Federal Trade Commission. To learn more, check out these links, which you can click in the description below. And feel free to comment your questions. We're here to help. Thanks for tuning into our video. Please like and subscribe and leave a comment below. See you in the next video.